So uh, this is the reaction of magnesium and uh, just burning magnesium in air. So you need a lid, so we're gonna put a lid on. So the crucible and the lid weigh 42.03. We can't see that again. There we go. And then we put the magnesium in it. This is what magnesium looks like. A nice silver metal. It's flexible, so we bent it around. Put it in there. So it's at the bottom. And put the lid back on. And now the mass has changed because we've added some magnesium. And by doing a subtraction problem, we can find out how much magnesium there is. And then that goes on here. And, oh, you can't see. Scoot that back. Still can't see, that's okay. I'm gonna light the flame. Yeah. Which you could see. And we have our magnesium. Now, uh, it's supposed to be a low flame. There we go. And we're gently heating this, and we need to see inside. So, we're going to move this. This hasn't heated up yet. Yes, it has. <laughs> um, there we go. We've got to see inside so we can see the reaction. So, there we go. So, this takes a little bit of time. Um, I'm gonna heat it up a little bit hotter. And what's happening is we're, we're just really heating up the container. And that's supposed to last for three minutes. I don't know if I have the patience for three minutes of video of heating. Uh, let me just uh, point out a few things, just because this piece right here, uh, it's called the clay triangle. It holds the crucible and the lid. This is the ring and this is the stand for the ring. So it's called the ring stand. Um, my Bunsen burner, my Bunsen burner has these little windows in the bottom. And if you take them away, the flame uh, basically goes down. Uh, this is really hot right here where it's really blue. It's the hottest part of the flame. Uh, and this is my turning on and off. Uh, I have like a little thing written here, low, and on the other side, high, so I know which way to turn it. And if we go back up here, like I said, there, there will not be a reaction. Um, basically, all I'm trying to do is warm this up because if you heat and cool something like ceramic or rock, uh, even metal, rapidly, uh, what ends up happening is it cracks. Um, it doesn't explode, but it cracks. All right. So we're gonna crank this up a little bit more. And now we can see uh, a little bit of orange flame going around. What we would like to see is, well, there's a little bit. Uh, we want the ceramic to start glowing a little bit, need the reaction vessel to glow a little bit for this reaction to take place. Let's find a nice view. There we go. Oh, sparks. Sparks means the reaction will happen. There we go. I don't really think I need to increase the heat. Have some sparking. Um, this is a reaction with oxygen, so another reason to have the uh, opening, the lid opening, is to allow oxygen in um, so they react with the magnesium. Fudge, I thought that would be enough for it to go. 
I don't see any more. Even okay, let's crank. And I turn it up just a bit more. It wasn't very much. Usually we get a little, you know, my phone's getting warm. Okay, it's fine. And a little bit more. Six minutes. Well, at least you can scrub through the video. Usually those sparks are enough to make it completely react. So I'm surprised. And I can see the bottom. Oh, you guys can too. You can see the bottom of the ceramic glowing. Oh, there we go. Now the whole thing will take off. Using just a little bit of the vaporizing um, product. So if you go from a solid to a gas, which could be happening, and then the gas is condensing up here back to a solid, that's called sublimation. It means we got it so hot that the solid particles don't want to stick together and they end up uh, floating away with the currents of air. In the hot. And then you're supposed to let it heat and make sure that the interior also is reacting. So as long as I see that red glow, I'm going to be okay with that and let it react. So we're now supposed to wait five minutes for the reaction to completely consume the magnesium that's in there so that I know that when I weigh this, that my result will be only magnesium oxide. Pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna stop the video because I need to actually let it cool. And I don't think you wanna watch for another 12 minutes of procedure. <laughs>